Do you have a WordPress website? Well, I have something exciting to show to all of you. But first, let me introduce you to SureTrigger if you don't know what SureTrigger is about. SureTrigger is both a plugin and a SaaS, meaning a software as a service, and you can connect your WordPress website to SureTrigger. You create a free account, and then it's basically a technology that allows you to do if this, then that. So if this and that mean that you have triggers, you can have a specific set of triggers. You can use any kind of uh, triggers you will see into a short while. And then you have actions, meaning what you want uh, to happen after the trigger. So you trigger something and then you have the actions and it can be anything you want. It means that in WordPress, you can connect pretty much anything to everything with this kind of plugin. So sure triggers is one of them. You don't have only this plugin. You also have, uh, I think something like Uncanny Automator and, and such, but sure triggers is a very promising one. And in today's video, I want to show a specific new feature within SureTrigger. For me, I think it creates magic. So let's go for a quick round. You can install SureTrigger on your own WordPress website or on a demo website. Then you need to create, again, free accounts. So I let you do that. And then you can join me into the menu of SureTrigger. So you have the dashboard, workflows, history, apps. So apps is all the, the apps you can connect within SureTrigger. Uh, specifically for action, you can have apps for both trigger and action. It's not always from your WordPress websites. It can be external to your WordPress website if you want to trigger uh, any kind of action. Then you have recipes. So it's basically templates. You can find many, many recipes over here. And yeah, then you have settings, obviously. So I just want to show you this specific feature for this video. It's button triggers. Yes, you've heard me right. So let me show you. You go to workflow, you create a new workflow, uh, which would be in Zapier, like a new, a new Zap. You know, I call it test, start building. Then we will need to uh, add a trigger. And then the magic happens because I click on add trigger. And among the very first triggers you can find here, you have trigger button. So uh, let's go for a quick example from scratch. I create a button. So select event, obviously button clicked, then select a connection. It will be by default, the name of your WordPress website. Then you have a short code and you need to check if the event is working properly. So you can copy this short code and you can paste it anywhere on your website. So let's go into one of your pages. So for me, it will be this sample page within Gutenberg. Obviously it can work with any page builders you want. I paste the short code, I think maybe eventually they will maybe do a block, a specific block from short triggers. For now, it's just a short code. I click on update. Let's go to view the page. And now just to be sure it's working uh, on the event here, we need to click on the button. So let's go and click on the button, click here and boom, it's done. Uh, the event is working. I click on save and now, now anything you want. That's it, guys. It's about triggering any kind of action just based on a button. I mean, it's so powerful. Anything you can do with such a, with such a good feature, I think it's amazing for freelancers or professionals. And even if you do your own website, you can do so many things with it. Just realize that it means that if someone just click on a button, you can trigger any action to happen. And when I say anything, I mean anything. So if you want to tag a specific contact uh, within uh, your CRM, for instance, if you want to tag or to add the contact to a list, you can do that. If you want to trigger to send an email, you can do that. If you want to enroll the user into a course, you can do that. If you want to do anything, just go into actions and just pick one and you can just check what you can do with this uh, connection with Ensure Triggers and you can set any kind of actions you want. You have the full documentation here. I will leave you uh, with a link to the description of the video, but it's supposed to work only with logged in users, but we have some parameters into the shortcode that make me think that we will be able to use it just for regular visitors, if you, even if you're not logged in. So I think uh, you can use it for visitors, just people who come to your website and click on a button and then you can do whatever you want with it. I'm going to change the label here just for the sake of giving you an example. I also want to change the label after uh, the button being clicked. So I need to copy this parameter and you can add it into the shortcode just like this. So whoops, sorry, space, I paste it equal. And then I can write something like you are subscribed. Thanks. Update. 
And now the label is different. So this is one instance. You can ask them if they want to subscribe to your newsletter. You click on the button and then boom, you're subscribed. Thanks. The redirection thing is because I am a visitor, I'm not logged in, but you have also some parameters for the shortcode if you want to redirect somewhere else. So you can trigger any kind of actions like, for instance, within WooCommerce, you have many actions within WooCommerce. You have uh, wishlist members, for instance, which is a membership website. You have another one here and you, uh, you also have not just plugins for WordPress, but really anything like Slack or Twitter or Zoom or any sort of different page builders right now they are not all available but it will be eventually available you will have many many opportunities to trigger anything so i have one example for me as a teacher in french of wordpress wordpress content i have uh, wordpress courses uh, on my french audience and part of content creation so i was about to launch a new course for this new course i wanted to send a survey for people for my students so what i could have done is just to put a button of the sure trigger button into the dashboard of my students and because it's into the dashboard of my students because it's an lms website you know i use uh, LearnDash and shortcut well uh, they are logged in already so it means that if they click on the button anything can happen because they are logged in and because i have all the contact detail i have the email address i have anything so if they click on the button and i ask them on the button do you want to help me and get the survey to help me to do a better course for you guys? Well, just click on the button. They click on the button. Then into sure triggers, I select email, send email, and I'm able to send them an email based on just one click of a button. And they will get a Google form, a Google form, for instance, into this email. Then I would go to workflow, create new, up oh, something, start building. And for the trigger, I type form and I can find Google form. It means that once they filled the form, the Google form, I can automatically connect Google form to something happening onto the website. So for instance, I want to tag them into my CRM. So my CRM, for me, it's Fluent CRM. So once they have to fill the form into Google form, they can be tagged with a specific tag within Fluent CRM. It means that the day I want to launch the course, they will have a specific tag and I can send them a coupon or something just for them. So I have a whole automation from just a button to uh, an email being sent with a Google form. Then the Google form, once it's filled, I have the email fetched into the WordPress website into a particular tag within Fluent CRM. And then the day I want to send email marketing, I can send them something special. So this is just one specific example, guys, but you can do so many things with just uh, this type of button within sure Trigger. I think it's a dream come true for freelancers or professionals to being able to just uh, set a button and people click on it and then something happens. So what do you think, guys? Let me know into the comment sections. And if you're new to the channel, uh, well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's very important if you want to uh, motivate me to do more WordPress content and don't forget also to check the other video about WordPress on this channel and I will see you in the next video.